Hello. In a previous clip, I've been through and demonstrated how to use worm out gel in an aviary. What I want to do today is go through with you what you need to do if you want to crop needle your birds when you're worming. I'm a great fan of crop needling. I think it's the best way to do it. Sometimes it's not practical if you've got hundreds of birds, but if at all possible, I believe crop needling medication is the more accurate and the best way to go. However, again, a few little tricks about how to make up your dilutions and a couple of things about crop needling. All right, we have our crop needle set and that crop needle set comes in a graduated container for a reason. That helps you work out the correct dilutions of the worm out gel. If I use this little graduated container, the dilution that I want is one mil of worm out gel in nine mils of water. All right, gives us a one in 10 dilution. One mil of worm out gel in nine mils of water equals 10 mils. So the pump of worm out gel will deliver in the small containers will deliver one mil. We put our one mil in the container. Then we need to add our water. We're going to add nine mils of water. Now you can measure it straight onto the container, that's fine. Or you can do what I'm going to do and just use a syringe. Suck up the water to the nine mil mark. Squirt it in the container. Fairly simple. On with a cap. Give it a good shake. Worm out gel busts up. Now what we have is a stock solution of worm out gel. I can keep that in the fridge for as long as I like. A bit like the made up worm out gel for Average. You can keep it in the fridge, it will keep quite well. You do need to stir it though before you put it out. Or you do need to give this a good shake before you use it again. But there it is. You can now walk out into your Avery and start your worming program just using that as your container. Now. We've diluted this down, remember? We've diluted this down 10 times. So the dose rate now becomes 0 0.5 of a mil or half a mil per 100 grams body weight. So a cockatiel, look, cockatiels are going to be somewhere between 85 and 110, 120 grams. I'm going Half a mil is near enough. There's enough safety factor within the worm out gel for its efficacy that I can go half a mil to a cockatiel. If I'm going to do a crimson rosella, and a crimson rosella might come in at 180 grams, I'm going to go, okay, he's 200, close enough to 200 grams, I'm going to give that bird one mil. Don't have, don't have to be that accurate. You need to be somewhere near it, but don't sweat about it too much. Worm out gel has a big safety factor, has a 10 times safety factor. That means for you to hurt something, you'd need to give this cockatiel back here, you'd need to give him five mils, five mils of worm out gel made up like this before you started to get near a toxic factor. And I don't think any of you out there are silly enough to do that. All right, when you're crop needling, so we're gonna crop needle this, this cockatiel. Select your crop needle size. I'd go for a 12, 12 gauge crop needle in my hands. That's my, the most popular size. I, I like a 12 mil crop needle. It's the one that will fit down most birds and you have the least chance of getting the needle down the windpipe. Okay, here's a little trick that you need to know when you're using a crop needle. If you've got the needle on the syringe and you're drawing up the medicine, So we draw it into the, the syringe. Oops, I've got stuff going everywhere. Problem. I can't work out. I can't work out my amount because I've got solution going everywhere. Take your crop needle off, draw up. Now put your crop needle on, but press the plunger back to the dose that you want and so that you fill the needle. The dead space in the needle is critical. You can have depending on the size of your needle, anything up to 0.4 of a mil in there. 
So if you draw up half a mil here, then put the needle on, and then try to deliver it, 0.4 of the dose will stay in the needle. So what you need to do, overfill the syringe, put on the needle, squeeze back to the dose that you want, which in this case was half a mil. That will then fill the syringe. Now I can go and I can crop needle the bird. I've had a few instances of clients coming in where birds have been wormed and they've still had worms in them. And we've worked it out that what was happening is out of a half a mil dose, they were only getting 0.1 of a mil. Okay, it's a little trick. Just take care of it or take care about it when, when you're drawing up your doses and then you'll deliver the accurate dose to the bird. You'll get it where it needs to go. The worms go out the other end and the birds are fine. Thank you.